Welcome to the vlog. We're um, heading to Manchester, me and Harry are. We're going to check out a Manchester City match uh, versus Southampton. The, we're going to do a tour of the Etihad. Yeah, it's a very much Manchester City based vlog. Exciting. Well, hopefully it's exciting. A, if they win, and even more would be a bonus if it doesn't rain in Manchester. On the A1, about two and a half hours from Manchester, McDonald's stop. Happy with that McDonald's stop, Harry? Mm -hmm. And he's got a cookie. And he wants three points. <laughs> We're in the old Holiday Inn then, just arrived. Two singles. Little bathroom. Little telly, get that on in a bit. Home for two nights, it'll do what it has. No mini bar. Start the day with a breakfast. Hopefully it's the breakfast of champions. Mm -hmm. Just left the um, Holiday Inn. It's about a 30, 40 minute walk from here. We get our jackets just in case. It's all right at the moment, isn't it, Harry? Yeah. Not too cold at the minute. Right, let's get to the Etihad. There it is in the distance. Today we watch the match, which is uh, against Southampton, and tomorrow we'll tour the stadium. Ah, ah, ah. The Etihad. I think I think the walk from the hotel to here on my map said it was about 30, 30 40 minutes, but we just followed a crowd and it was about 15. Anyway, let's go to the city store. Let's go have a little window shop, shall we? So we're good like a couple of hours before kickoff. There's quite a few people milling about in here. City Square, it always has entertainment right up until just before kickoff. Live music, guests, city chat. The newest statue of the city legends. A bit further along you've got just over in the distance, you've got Company and Silver. And then you've got Aguero. So this could be a bit of struggle up. We've just walked through and um, the team bus is about to arrive. Ooh. Here he comes in the background. <laughs> this is a bonus, seeing these boys arrive. We're in the stadium, Harry. Shall we have a look at what our view is going to be like? So we're in um, block one, two, three, which is over here. Yeah. It's 
is where we're going to be. There's the dug the dugout. Look how close we are. Fantastic. Happy with this. This is pretty cool. You can, you're going to lag it in a plastic glass. Well, sorry, plastic glass, but you know, in plastic. And then they have recycling points all the way around. That's pretty cool. So it feels like you're having a nice, good pint. Pint. You. Happy day. Seems are warming up. Southampton. This end. So we got to see four goals, we got to see a goal by the main man and there were some good goals there, weren't they Harry? Ticked all of them boxes. Now we head back to the hotel, stay the night and then we're going to come back here in the morning and have a tour around the Etihad. And we're back in the hotel celebrating victory with a pint and a curry. Nice meal that was in the Holiday Inn, I have to say, and a couple of pints. Ah, what? That's the way to wash down a nice 4-0 victory. Tonight, we shall watch match of the day, but cut to tomorrow, when we're back at the Etihad, ready for a stadium tour. Sunday morning, we are back at the Etihad, and we are heading to this, the Manchester City tour. It's a bit different round here than it was yesterday, with 53,000 at the minute. It's just me and Harry. Okay, we're waiting for the tour to start. We've checked in. Just a few of the trophies over the years that City have won. There's a few Premier League trophies on show.
A few more Premier League trophies. Yeah, the tour's kicked off with our tour guide Linda. Who just informed us that the players are about today. They're in the academy ground, which is just a little bit further along, warming down. We're now heading into the stadium. So this is the this is the players' entrance. This is where they arrived yesterday, which I filmed getting off the coach as they walked the blue carpet <clears throat> and into the reception. And in the home dressing room, that warns the players you've got one minute to do your check. Then a second buzzer, and then the players from both teams will come out to this space. Your wear dressing room. Great, because I think. This is a really nice thing to talk about. Yeah. Are you away the dressing room? We've got a couple of minutes in here, but while we're here, we might as well just tell you a little bit, so you can either stand up, sit down, it's up to you. We're kind of just waiting until that group has gone down the corridor. Oh, okay. Right, 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 okay. The dressing room. Look at this, where the players sit. So this is Silver. If you open up his little seat, they have a little safe to put their million pounds worth of jewellery. <laughs> cool. Sits in it. Thank you. Any of the technical box is quite close to the lock, quite close to the pitch, isn't it? Sky BT box, but because it wasn't broadcasted yesterday, uh, that that was the BBC box. Normally, this was the BBC box, and then this is uh, Man City TV. So it's obviously just been shifted. Right. Follow me down there, please. Right. If you could just um, sort of start sitting from, from the back row, we just need to leave the front two yeah. seats. Uh, rows, sorry. Okay. So if you just keep the front two uh, rows clear, please. <laughs> Well, what an excellent, excellent tour that was. Did you like that? Uh -huh. It was. What was your best bit? Changing rooms. The, being in the changing rooms. Yeah, it was great. They also had um, like the way they did the press conference bit, where is if you sat next to Pep, we got a um, we got some uh, we got some souvenirs out of that. We got a nice little uh, tour guide book as well, which is like six to eight pages long, five pounds. 
and then we got some photos um, of our little visit. What a weekend, do you enjoy it? Uh -huh. A win, 4 0 versus Southampton, Harlan scored, the tour, and uniquely for Manchester, it didn't rain once. So thanks for watching the vlog. Uh, check out all the other things that we get to get up to. But for now, say bye for now, Harry. Bye for now, Harry. Yep, bye for now. Bye for now.